Grant Shapps was welcomed to the Ministry of Defence by the Chief of the Defence Staff and by the Department's top civil servant. His move surprised many as Grant Shapps had cultivated a lighter political image that normally goes with this brief. If it's sea and sand that you want, well, head to Cornwall with its stretches of beautiful sand and crashing waves, or come down to London for a bit of retail therapy. But Grant Shapps endorsed Rishi Sunak's leadership bid last summer. He's seen as a loyalist. And some worry that'll mean he bends to Number 10 and the Treasury's will and doesn't fight for the Defence Department's budget. The question is the speed uh, with which Grant Chaps can come to terms with the portfolio of defence. It is complex. And whether he's actually willing to pick up the cudgels and fight the corner for defence. If he does that, then we will all say, well, this has got the makings of being a good Secretary of State for defence. If, however, he takes the political line to not ruffle the feathers in government on behalf of defence, then uh, this is going to be disappointing for the Ministry of Defence, disappointing for the armed forces. Only last week, Grant Shapps visited Ukraine. He said Britain's military support for the country would be unwavering. He was there in his old ministerial brief, visiting power stations. But his move to defence means in the last 12 months, Grant Shapps has served in five different cabinet jobs. A year ago, he was still running transport. This trust sacked him, then made him home secretary. He served for nearly a full week. Three months as business secretary was followed by seven months as the brand new energy department boss. He now begins yet another new job. <laughs> another Rishi Sunak loyalist, Claire Coutinho, seen here in red at his campaign launch, has been promoted to the cabinet as the new energy and net zero minister. Are you pleased with your new job? Rishi Sunak has told aides he prefers ministers to stick in jobs for longer. But Claire Coutinho, until this morning, was children's minister. And her move means there have been seven ministers responsible for areas like children in care and special educational needs in this parliament, serving an average term of eight months. Today's mini reshuffle suggests if Rishi Sunak ever gets round to the bigger promised shuffling of his pack, he may well prioritise loyalty over party unity. That could risk further antagonising MPs who backed Liz Truss or were loyal to Boris Johnson. Something he wasn't ready to embark on today. Gary Gibbon, Channel 4 News, Westminster.